evening everybody how are we today oh you should have seen me i've been racing around i was looking for my die cutting machine because um obviously studio being as it is i've got nothing in here so i was trying to find my machine couldn't find it anywhere then one minute before i went live i spotted it in the corner so oh i'm a little bit puffed out so i'll just catch my breath um, so I've managed to carry over my machine and all my plates so we can do a little bit of crafting tonight. So many of you aren't expected to see me, I would not have thought, because it is the weekender. Now Dawn is obviously, Dawn Wheeler, has obviously launched the weekender for me at four o'clock. She's back on your screens at eight, so I'm not going to hang around and encroach into Dawn's time too much, but I thought... It's always really nice that if I can't be there, that I can be here and I can do a demo for you. But my style, Dawn and my styles are very different. So you get a collaboration of me and Dawn doing different things with the product. And of course, the reason that I'm not going to be live is because I'm up very early, very early in the morning. And we are traveling over to Sandown Racecourse where I will be doing two live hours of the weekend uh, with the lovely Yanis and we've got 11 a.m. and 12 a.m. back to back and we'll be broadcasting live to Crate and Craft from the, well, what's it? It's the hall, stadium, whatever you call it. What do you call it? Um, well, it's the race course. It's the um, event centre within the race course. Now there, I will just say before I say hello to everybody, those of you who are thinking they're not buying because they're going to be getting it at Sandown tomorrow, I've seen a lot of comments about this. You will not get this at Sandown. You can watch me at Sandown. You can watch me broadcast to TV at Sandown, but you cannot get your hands on this. It has to be on the website at Create and Craft. So you won't see any stands carrying this on their, on their stand tomorrow, that's for sure. So now I've done that bit, let's say hello to everybody and welcome you all so evening tracy smith ross briggs who's very early hi karen keen amber and tom it is snowing in new jersey right now Ooh, bit chilly with some snow here as well it's not probably nothing like your snow but we have had some snow hi patricia hi katie um hi julia um yeah let's say happy birthday to dawn it's dawn Dawn Soderfield's birthday today, so happy birthday, Dawn. Hi, Marie. Um, oh, Dexter wants to go out. Dexter, well, he does take priority, Tom, let's be honest. Um, hi, Margaret. Hi, Irene. Hi, different Margaret. Hi, Jenny Ranger. Hi, Nancy from Northeast Ohio. Hi, Miriam. Looking forward to seeing you tomorrow, that's for sure. Hi, Louise. Hi, Sarah Lohman. Hi, Marie Merrill from an extremely chilly Ontario in Canada. Good evening, Paul Preston, Melissa, um, Sally Ann Merriott, Lorraine Prosser, Bonnie. Oh, and Grandma Bonnie is you, Bonnie. I didn't even know that was you. So welcome, Bonnie. As always, the Live Valley is a lovely set. I've used the background and I love it. Yes. And I saw you. Was it you that used the teacup as well? You've got that, you've got that really early. You're very lucky, very lucky. Good evening, John Quill. Good evening, Joanne from a snowy New York City. Um, uh, I'm holding off on the lily of the valley for the moment. <laughs> We've make, um, do you think Lisa will make us be on the naughty step again? I, I don't try and get you on the naughty step. You lot don't help yourselves, do you? Um, hi, Alison. Hi, Karen. Hi, Deborah. See you tomorrow, Deborah. Hi, Sandra. Hi, Tony. Um, hi, Julia. Oh, hi, Lisa Armitage. Hi, Karen Clark. Whew, Pauline Barrett. Hi, Con. Hi, Karen. Hi, Carol Bye. Hi, Nettie. Hannah Hicks. Carol Phillips. Viv O'Connell. Jan Holsom. Valerie Cartwright. Uh, Margaret Jones, who is never going to get off the naughty step. Let me have a drink. Oh, hang on. Hi, Linda. Pa oh, it's fizzy. It's really lovely. It is lime and cucumber but it's really busy hi con hi wendy hi karen uh, gary roden hi catherine thomas margaret jones donna clary janet fellows carol glisson Ooh, linda walker um colleen 
Armstrong Thomas. Oh, how much for car repairs? That's, and the trouble is with things like that is, it's like when your boiler goes or something goes in the house and you can't physically see where you've spent the money. It's kind of hidden spending, isn't it? Which makes it even worse. If you had if you had a new sofa sitting there or a new pots and pans or you know a new TV, you could you could you kind of associate with spending the money. But when it's on like um cars and things, I, it always drives me insane. Although I do appreciate it, it has to be done. A Valerie Ward, Sandra Duval, Seal Seal Nocella, Nocella, um, Nan Campbell, Sue Odell, uh, Marion Scott, Marie Merrill, uh, Karen. For Karen, you are from Germany, aren't you? I'm sure you're from Germany. Um, there's so many of you here again, sitting on my hands after seeing the show for the weekender. Um, it's a really difficult time of year as well, isn't it, for spending? So it's I know I do know it's tricky. January is an absolute nightmare. So I do appreciate everyone who has purchased. But don't forget, um, I'm on again tomorrow, so you can have another little look at that and see all the demos and see if you like it. Um, hi from New Hampshire, Claire McDonald, hi Kathy Grimes, Catherine Al Ablett, hi Christine from Upstate South Carolina, uh, hi Jan, hi Julie, Josephine. Who, Josephine, are you going to Crafting Live tomorrow? Or have you been today? Because you're in Surrey, aren't you? Or is it a long way from you? Hi Buttons from Canada. Um, let me get. Damn, there's loads of you. First time here. Hi, she. Oh, Sheila Hulina, you're here. Welcome, welcome. Um, we'll do some demos tonight, and you just bought the ultimate too, so you're going to see that in action in a minute. Um, hopefully you'll really like it. It is such a game changer. There's some new things coming out to go with it as well, so I will use those as well, so you can see that you're going to get longevity out of the ultimate. It is just a fabulous product. Um. And hopefully you will see why everybody, everybody loves it. We've sold thousands of them worldwide and they seem to be quite a staple tool in many people's crafty stash now. So hi, Helen McLaughlin, uh, Jill Baxter. I'm trying not to spend too long, but I'm going to. I've put up in the corner there as well, Crane Craft Weekender. So if you are interested in the weekend, which Dawn will be back on air at 8 p.m. showing, you'll be able to grab yours there. Um, I will demo it here and now, so you'll be able to see exactly what it does and how it works. I will be buzzing off about just before eight o'clock because I have Skype with HSN at half past day. So I need to have a little bit of time to get myself ready and then um, off to Sandown. So I just wanted to make sure I say hello to as many people as I can. Hi, Pat. I'll see you tomorrow, lovely. I'm looking forward to seeing you. Um, you'll get to meet Miriam as well. You've met Miriam before, but it'd be nice to see Miriam again. Um, there is a lot of you here. I'm not going to say... Um, Hello to everybody, but hi, Cap, just a few more. Hi, Karen from Fountain Hills. Hi, Jane Brigg. Marie Merrill got her Lily of the Valley today. Um, Rose Jekyll, Margaret Jones, uh, Peg from the USA, and Karen Glisson. Oh, in the US, you're Karen in the US. You got an ink holder and silicone mat in the US, did you? The cheek cut is fabulous. <laughs> yes, or put, yes, you know, spending money when Prue jumps on the toilet system is not a good look. Hi, Charlotte Frisbee. Shirley Stewart. Thank you, Charlotte. That's really kind of you. Um, yeah, loads of you. Uh, oh, no, I went to buy the Lily of the Valley blooms and unable to. Oh, no. Hi, Charlotte from Florida. Um, I'm not sure what I can do about it tonight. Are you trying to buy them individually? Have all the individuals gone? Mm, I don't think we've got any more, but when I'm there tomorrow, I will see if we have any, but I don't think so. I don't think so, but I will try and find out for you. But they will talk about it on air anyway. Ah, oh, I can't believe this. Oh, they have, I've just seen that. Hi, Star Lane. Star Lane Des... Des... Mer Desmar I can't see properly. Starlane Desmarais, I think that is. What a cool name from Montreal and Canada. 
I uh, went to Sandown today. From the, you saw the stamp hut, did you? Excellent. Fabulous. Right, so I think we should get into it, obviously, because I, we're going to run out of time. But I do feel it would be really nice for you to see some of the products. So please make sure you like and share. Like and share tonight. It's really important that you do that because... We do, for those of you who are new, we do a giveaway every week. If you've liked, if you've shared, if you've let people know we're here, if you've made a comment, we uh, pick a name randomly and we send out a prize. And then we do one for Facebook and one for YouTube. So two prizes go out. Now, the one for YouTube, what I do, if you stick around to the end of the, the live, I ask you to go and watch a video that we've already done. And if you comment on that video, again, you'll be entered into a draw to win another prize. So plenty of opportunities to win things. And um, yeah, I'm not going to say what it is. It'll be a surprise when it arrives. So any questions you have before I flick you over? Because obviously I don't pick up so many comments. Um... Just order the black ink refills. You said they were okay. They should be. You should be able to use them. They work on my black ink pad, but they um, they work on um, alcohol inks and watercolors. So, and they're a dry fast ink as well. Starling, you get the products from Scrapbook Central. Oh, do you? Oh, thank you so much for the support. I really do, really appreciate it, and I'm so excited. Um, that we are selling and stocking so many more stores in the USA and Canada. It's There's a lot of you out there now, which is fantastic. Okay, you've broken my heart. Oh, I'm sure I can wait for two weeks or they're on your site. Good evening, Primrose Gibson. Welcome and hi, Cat Mason. Right, I think I'm almost at the bottom. Yes, Andrew Whittington, Tony Ball, you've got your bundle. Excellent. Get get it out, Tony. Make sure you start using it. Don't put it in the cupboard. Let's see some lovely samples with it. Okay. Now, Tony's got Tony's doing is it Tony who did it? Um, a New Year's resolution is to use all of her products. I think it was you anyway. Oh, hi, Kieran. So what we're going to do is I'm going to turn you over to the overhead and just, hi, Tina. Are you going to be going to Sandown tomorrow? Did you decide? Okay, right. So I've got my drink to one side. I'm just going to clear a little space now. It's going to be a little bit tricky because I want to show you quite a few things. Um, I'm going to kind of treat it like I'm on TV in that we will do some cracking little demos. But I do want to include into all of this is the, I'll talk about it first. Hang on. Is the tacky mat. The tacky mat has caused such a stir. Uh, it's crazy. You, you all are waiting for this. Now, the tacky mat is gonna is available in the USA and Canada, but it isn't here in the UK until the 6th of February. Now, the 6th of February, I have a feeling it is uh, Tuesday, so it will be loaded on Crate and Craft on the Friday before. And I'm not going to lie, it is the biggest amount of stock for any product I've ever taken to Crate and Craft ever so um there is no reason why <laughs> linda um there is no reason why you should not be able to get yours linda no mcspicy tonight and do you know why lily lily who normally does the ordering of the takeaways has gone out pretty much her first friday night out um in town with all her mates and me and danny have been a bit She's 17. I know she's 17, but she's gone out on a Friday night for dinner with mates. Um, and they're all, a, well, they're not all a lot older, but most of, she's one of the youngest in a, in a uh, circle of friends. And um, they're all 18, close to 19. And she's not quite turned 18 yet. She's the baby. And I'm like, be careful on the train, you know. She's like, oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. But yes, yeah, so she does the ordering. She's not here. Danny popped around to visit his mum, so I had to fend for myself tonight, which wasn't very good at all. Anyway, um, you won't be missing out on that bad boy. Um, I will turn you over and I will talk about the mat, okay? I moved over to Facebook so I can take a look at the Great Craft website. 
Right, what I would say, um, if you t thanks Pat, yeah, you run, all you do is if it loses its tack, you run it under the tap, um, leave it to dry and it will re-stick. So it's polymer, so it doesn't lose its sticky. It's like your polymer stamps. They never stop being sticky. They get less sticky when you get cat hair or uh, dust or things on them. All I'd say is put your cover sheet back on and they will be fine. Um, somebody said they were struggling to fit theirs in, um, somebody in America, but you don't use all the other mats with it. You just put the tacky mat inside, take out all your other mats and just put the tacky mat inside. I know Donna, she's all grown up. She's all very grown up. So let me, um, flick you to the overhead and we'll have a little bit of a talk around everything. Now this might, let's, oh, is that going to blur? Let me put my hand there. There we go. When I do things very quickly, it's because I've not got the new um, products installed yet. They're coming on Tuesday. So there we go. So I'm just going to leave that like that for the moment. We should be fine. So the tacky mat is going to be $19.99. Okay. But what the tacky mat is, for those of you who haven't seen it, I'll just bring it in for you. Now, this is going to be a game changer for you. So it has two sides with um like an acetate on it once clear this side has the guides and the rulers on it um and to keep it firm in your ultimate we have popped holes in it so you can pop it in your ultimate if you want to and then if you want to use your tacky mat over the top you absolutely can if you need to line your card up you can do that too but I'm not going to use that today. I'm just going to pop my tacky mat. Oops, turn it around. Because it fits inside the Ultimate. So it's nine and a half by nine inches. And I make sure I butt it right up to those pegs inside. And it sits in there beautifully. Now I'm going to bring it down just a touch. Because my lighting is catching it up here. Okay. Um, Tom, I take it you're referring to the dog. <laughs> We're back. <laughs> Yeah, Tom, I, I I really hope that is the dog. <laughs> oh, Lily Wolf, she will have had a fabulous time, but it's it's I think it is more us that get nervous about it. Right, okay. Now we're gonna use the Lily of the Valley, as I say. I really, 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 really have fallen in love with the little background. It's very cute, it's very lovely, and actually I might even move away. My, these are going to be on on the 6th as well. So these are going to be available too. I think I might just turn you at kind of at an angle like that. So please don't think it's you, it's me. Layering stencils that Dawn's been using today, I think. I don't know what, what demo she's done. So apologies if I repeat anything. I've been, I spent nearly all day on the phone today. Literally nearly all day on the phone. I ordered the wrong ultimate, got two ones now. Do you know what you can do though, Sarah? Take the take the front off of one of them. Just take the front off and then you've got one that you can use in a smaller space as well or take it away when you go on holidays and things. Um, so apologies if I repeat anything, but we're going to use this tonight and we are going to use it with the... Oh, I'm just thinking. I'm just trying to think what I've got in my room with me. Hang on a sec. I thought I had some dyes in here and I don't, which is very frustrating. So we're going to have to trim down some cardstock. That's fine. So we're going to use it with some white cardstock. We're going to trim it down and I'll show you how this comes into its own. Okay. Sarah, the tool you can get separately, um, it's only $5.99 and there's sit tight on the scoring tool anyway um there's lots of new things on their way so just just don't stress too much if you have both um yeah anyway like bonnie says i think this might be on scrapbook i think it might be at ecstasy as well so anybody who's after those products um you should be able to get hold of those internationally. So apologies that the camera goes in and out, but I'm trying to do this because I need you to be able to see it close up, okay? Now, um, let's bring in a paper trimmer as well. So 
We're going to cut a piece of card down. Actually, I've got one already that's slightly cut, not quite small enough. And we're going to have some black card as well, which I've got with me too. So my textured black card stock, I think, is on the show as well. If it's not, it is available on the Crankcraft website, as it is on our website too. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to trim my card down. So just think about this. You don't always have to use these products the size they are. I love that you can make smaller cards with ease just by trimming your card stock down, okay? Um, so Debbie DeBow, she got hers a scrapbook, did you? Oh, tell me what you think, Debbie. I'm just going to grab a card blank. I've just got to lean away from the camera just for a second. I've actually got two card blanks, so let's see where this takes us. So I've got a couple of five by seven card blanks here. Uh, let me bring one in for you. Um, let me just measure this and see where I'm going size wise. It will it will all come together in a minute. I just need to get some sizing organised for myself. So let's just mark that there for now, and we'll pop that in. Uh, around there and I'm going to line that up and the reason I'm lining it up with these lines here and not here is that if my if I lean in I'm going to knock the camera with my head um for now next week I won't it's all going to look very different next week so that is my piece of card which is going to sit on there yes and now we're going to bring in some of the black card stock now this is 12 by 12 Normally, what I would do is I would gut my card um, and I would use a small small piece of card. But obviously today, because I'm at home, because we're in a kind of makeshift studio at the moment, some of the things I would normally do are not quite possible. Oh, I'll just drop stuff on the floor now. So I've got a small pair of scissors, which is daft. However, I'm just going to trim this piece of black card so I've got enough room to pop it into my trimmer, okay, and do a matte and layer. And as I said, normally I would have gone and grabbed my A2 rectangles, which I absolutely love, and that would have given me the perfect matte and layers. However, I can't get my hands on them right now. So let's line this up roughly. Don't stress it too much. Let's line that up like so. And this is how I do my measuring. This is as tough as it gets with me. I'm not a measurer at all. So I um, don't go, that's got to be five and three quarters, six and a half, um, seven centimeters. I just need to make sure that fits where I want it to be. Yep, that's pretty good from where I'm sitting. And then I can see now, if I do that, bring that down. That's great, yeah. Don't want a really big area. No worries about being late, Suzette. Not, no worries at all. I'm getting in just a little demo because I'm not on TV today. Or I can't make it to TV today. So I think that's pretty, pretty good. I might trim a tiny bit off the side, tiniest bit. And then I think I'm done. So that is your trickiest bit done. Well, it's not even tricky, is it, really? Okay, so let's move this down a little bit and have a look. So that's that, and let's get rid of my rubbish. Oh, I haven't even got a bin anymore. It's all just disappearing in front of my eyes. And now let's bring in our uh, Ultimate 2, oopsie, and we'll bring in our mat. So your tacky mat's already on. Okay. Oh, sorry, Christina. Yeah, you can watch it back on Catch Up, can't you? And we're going to use that gorgeous Lily of the Valley background. And let's take these out. This is my set. This is the set I'll be taking to TV tomorrow. So I must remember to clean them afterwards. And if you're new to our stencils, which I see some of you are new tonight, might well be. When you get our stencils, all of our stencils are numbered, okay? So they all come into a set, but they are all numbered. Here. This one, I don't know if you'll pick it up. Let's see if my camera can do this. Hang on, if I see where my thumb is, see that there's a number one there. I don't know if you can pick that up. It's a number one. Let's find the number two. 
that might be easy, a number to read. There's a number two there. Hang on, let me get the angle. There you go, see that number two? So all the stencils are numbered, okay? These are numbered in slightly different spots because of the way the stencils are and it was impossible to get them in the same position on each stencil. So we'll start with stencil number one. Now the beauty of the Ultimate 2 is I can do that and I can move it around as much as I like and I'm going to decide where I want my artwork. Now when I look at these, when I look at stencil number one, there's a lot of lines in that. I can't see kind of where I want to be. But if I go along to one of the later stencils, maybe stencil number three, or is that stencil number four? That's stencil number three. So go to stencil number three. Let's make sure I put the others opposite each other so I don't get them muddled up. And I'm going to look at roughly where I want my design. So do you see why I've picked this one and not the leaves? If I pick the leaves, then I don't, or the stems almost, I can't really decide where I want my artwork to be. So I can choose now wherever I want. I can have it down there. I can have it right close to the edge. But I feel... I'd like to have it about, because I want a little bit off the edge as well. Let me line that up a little bit more, like that. Now the beauty is now I can lay that down. And I'll hold that down underneath. And when I lift off my stencil, see look, it's, this is how tacky it is. This is a brand new one. Lift my stencil and my card stays. Okay. Here we go. Oh, the petal envelope. Oh, Bonnie, that's gorgeous, isn't it? So now I know my card is where I want it to be. We know that's stencil number three, so we don't want that one. We want to go straight back to stencil number one. But because we've got everything lined up, our pegs are in, the tacky mat is not going to move because you can even see the air bubbles where it's sitting there. You can now pop, oh, listen to that. Sorry, there's an um, ambulance going past. We can now lay our car, our um, stencil down there. So I think what I might do is I might move my machine off and I will come back to that shortly and we're bringing some inks now again I haven't got many inks in here simply because everything's packed away but I did want you to see uh, a cool demo now I don't even think I've got a yellow have I not got a yellow in here hang on where is my yellow Oh, no, I haven't even got a yellow. We'll use the margarita in place of a yellow. Um, and I think we might go pink, blue, and margarita. That's gonna be that's gonna be cool. So let's bring in some brushes. Let's go margarita. Oh no, that's too bright that one. And let's go pink and let's go. Surfs up. So there's our three brushes. Uh, my shopping list is growing for the six. <laughs> there we are. Let's move the black card out of the way as well. Let's start number one and then we're going to pop all these green bits down. So let's bring in the green. Even these brushes make me happy. I just love the way they, all the colours sit on them as well. Let's start with that margarita. Now we're gonna come in and we're just gonna hit all these areas really easily with these chunky stencil brushes. So we do have the slim brushes and the stencil brush and the chunky brushes available. They are on our website, they are on Crane Craft website. Um, you can get both of them. They both are amazing. They both do the same thing but they're different sizes. And that will always be handy simply because uh, smaller areas, generally you can get more detail using the smaller brush and the larger areas, you can get more detail faster using a bigger brush, obviously. Now the tacky mat, all I'd say to you is, it might stain. It might, if you use a pigment ink, it's gonna stain. It doesn't affect its use. 
just give it a wash if you want. I haven't washed mine. You can see I've got a mark around here, left it. But the brushes are, do you know what? For me, I don't, you don't often see me use anything else, do you? My wonder brushes and these. Now I can see, you can't see it, but I've missed a few bits here because my brush is bigger. But then normally I would have a much bigger brush, a much smaller brush. But again, as I keep saying, I don't really have all my stuff in the studio right now. Lift that up and you've got a little bit of ink there. Now we're gonna put that stencil to one side and we'll come in with number two. Uh, number two's up there, so we lay that straight down and we'll just tap it down just a little bit, not too much. <clears throat> and we're gonna change our color of our ink and we'll come in with the pink ink, I think. Move the other brushes out of the way. Come in with that pink. Now the other thing to say about our inks, our blending inks, what you need to really, really remember is because they're a chalk finish, the top has got a lot of chalk in it. Um, if you're not getting a lot of ink, give them a really good rub and it mixes it, it just mixes it all together and it brings that ink to the surface. And I can see I have plenty of ink there, so much so I need to take it off. Now my lighting is not so good at the moment. Let me see if I can just brighten up that desk just a little bit and see if we can get a prettier, prettier looking color, because that doesn't look very pink there, does it, at all? Let's have a look and see if our lights can be, is it that one? Let's have a look, no, that's not gonna help. Uh, no, it's not gonna change the color at all, is it? Anyway, can't, can't do much about it at the moment, It's but at least you can see, you can see the ink going down, that's the main thing. And then we're gonna go all over here again. And again, if it was me, the bigger the brush, the faster I could do this. But obviously, <laughs> we can't. That will all be different very soon. We'll have a good old equipped studio and I'll be able to grab everything I need when I want it very, very easily. Um, yeah, it's all gonna be Tuesday and it's gonna be very, very exciting. There's gonna be a lot of bodies and there's gonna be a lot of moving around. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of swearing, um, a lot of construction going on. Uh, new microphones, oh, like just, just everything is gonna be very cool and a lot more manageable. And hopefully you'll see me a lot clearer as well. So that's stencil number two already looking good yeah this is looking quite dark and for me it's looking like a sugar candy pink for there it certainly doesn't on the camera but hey ho and again I'm going to stick with the sugar candy and I'm going to take my ink pad and I'm going to wipe it off in the lid and we're going to do this a little bit lighter although that's not particularly light I'm just going to keep it a little lighter so we have slight tones all over the top here and then come down here and I'll grab some of that ink that's over there and I'll use that ink that's still on the stencil in different areas and I'll pick that up and then the rest of the ink, let me move my, I can't see the comments, are you just answer my question about your blending pads, not, not use them for a long time. Yeah, just make sure, give them a good pack because if I do that, now these are my originals, these are the originals that I had when they first come out. And if I take a piece of card now, and if I dab that, you can see how heavy that is. But if, if I just was light on the top, you can see it's a lot lighter. So don't be light, give it a good press, and there you go, look. So that makes such a difference, okay? Um, Sarah Nielsen, the overall black handle brushes. You, the oval black handle brushes I would not recommend using personally with the interference inks because for me I have found that if I want a, a good coverage of colour the ink spreads out so wide that it dries too fast for me. I would say if you're using interference inks use um uh, these brushes and if you're using blending inks use these or the black handle brushes on YouTube it looks like candy pink and on the computer it looks a bit it does look rusty doesn't it 
it does to me as well. It's very bizarre. I don't know what is going on. I don't think it is me because my nails do look that color. My hands look that color. It's a very, very strange thing. Um, yeah, and the pigment, the, inter, the, the pigment inks as well, they are good with these brushes as well, with the Wonder Brushes and these ones too. So now I'm going to come in with the stencil number four, and I'm thinking I'm actually going to come in with the green again, and it will make sense. It will make sense. Um, we've got some new pigment inks coming as well, and these are going to be the hybrid ones. So they're going to be, they've got an oil base to them. They're a little bit different. They're really cool. But that's going to be more summertime, really. Um, so at the moment, for and they're for a different use, and there's a reason for those. So we'll talk about those when we get close to needing them. And then here, we're going to come just over here. So for me, this is very lime green. On my computer, it looks kind of a yellow. Very, very odd. But then when I pop it down here, it looks great. But you can pick your color choices. Obviously, I have a limited palette here in my makeshift studio, but it will be ideal um, for you to pick out your colors yourself and pick out things that you like. Don't pick out what I've done. Pick out what colors sing to you and what colors you you like using the most. And of course, around the edge, I mean, I don't have to hold anything if I don't want to. Nothing's going anywhere. The ultimate moves more than more than anything else. And the small round black brushes, the Bijou brushes, they are good for um, the blending inks, definitely. So there we go. And we will come in with number five. And you can see the beauty of this mat as well, can't you? But the ultimate is a, pretty much a game changer for so, those of you just invested as I as I've seen we've had quite a few sales on the website from Dawn Wheeler's show today um it, it's really really one of those tools that I think you'll pick up time and time again I mean most of our most of the crafters don't tend to put their ultimates away now they're always out on their desks which is a really 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 huge compliment to me because I love to know that everybody is using them. Look at that. So that's like be a really heavy blue now. So we can go over a little bit heavier. This is going to be gorgeous pinks and blues. And then we'll dab off again. So just make sure, as I say, if you're worried about your ink pads, make sure you either... Um, Make an effort at dabbing. Don't just um, be gentle with them. Make sure you really give them a good tap because obviously all that chalk, which sits on the surface, is not ink. It's chalk, so you're not going to get the colour. But you can see that I'm having to dab off because I'm I'm quite heavy-handed with my ink. Let's have a look. There, you are. look at that. It's coming together beautifully. And the final one. We've got a few more bits here. And then we'll just fill in those last bits. And yeah, keep asking questions. I'm there. I'm I'm here to just answer anything you need to know about. So honestly, I really don't mind. And actually, that's quite heavy. And I'm debating, do I want blue here? Yeah, I'm going to go with the blue. I'm going to go with the blue. And I'm going to go heavy with the blue. Because I'm going over blue, blue over blue. But the blending inks will be great for that. And when I when I add it to the pink, it goes purple. So you can really change up your colors just by using the same color ink over the top of another color. And they won't muddy. These inks will not muddy. There we go, just like so. Pick those bits up there. And we're almost done now. Almost done. Ah. Oh. And for those of you who've been asking me about, you know, the bags for the, the zip bags to put your inks in and to put your uh, brushes in, the grey ones we had before, the black ones have just left me, just left, and they're going to be here, um, I think it's mid-February. So they're on their way too. Look at that. Isn't that cool? 
Yeah, and I don't wash my brushes. Um, sorry, let, I'm missing the comments here. I do apologise. Um, small round brushes. So I'm using the removable dome head brush for interference. The small removable dome. Yes, Karen. You know the spongy ones. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And Carol Phillips, no, I don't think I've ever washed one of my brushes. And when I do, I find they I can never get them back to what I want them to be. So what I want you to do with your brushes, let me, I'm going to do this on the piece of that black card, it doesn't matter. So take your brush and all you're going to do is that. Just keep it clean by doing that until you get all your ink off. And then you go in. You can see that it's almost gone. Now that brush is going to be perfect for your next use. That's all I ever do with my brushes. And it really, really looks after your brushes for you. Um, keep going. I'll, love, I'll leave you another lovely print. It's so hard to resist. <laughs> You're sitting on your hands. Um, could you, can I let you do a message about the ink pads with the right brushes? Yes, I can do that, Emma. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I can do that. I want the tacky mat now. <laughs> the tacky mat, I tell you, the tacky mat, you are all going to wonder how you survive without the tacky mat. And Katie, yeah, wipe it on the um, on a microfiber cloth. That's fine. Now, when I bring this back in here, sorry, the lighting now, we'll turn that back around. When I bring this back in here, you might struggle to lift it up, okay? So you take your tacky mat, and you do it like so, and then you lift it. Now, somebody asked me, I think it might have been Tom, might have been, apologies if it wasn't you, Tom, does it bend your cardstock? No. No, it's absolutely fine. It's absolutely fine. It is, that is more than perfect for me um, in terms of what my cardstock should be like. So that's that. Um, and then I'm going to put that back over the top just to protect it so now I know I can leave the tacky mat in if I want to and then just pop that over the top next bit let me try and find some space let's bring in our 3d embossing folder let's find it hang on which is this one very cool, very cool. And let's take the embossing folder out. Oh, Rose, that's really sweet. And then we're going to take our folder. And I'm going to bring that black card back in. You've seen me do this a hundred times. This is that spare piece, but it doesn't matter. Look at that on there already. I would take my folder. And I would start to look, oh, I've turned it upside down now, I think, at where the flowers are. Let me see which way it is. No, I think it's that way. Is it that way or is it that way? And this is what I should not have done. I should have looked first, really, um, and see which way then. Let's find that leaf. So that goes, hang on, I'm on the wrong side. So that's, that, so I see that's going that way. Is that right? Ba, 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 ba. Hang on, is it that way? We'll put it inside and let's have a look first. Let's see, let's see. I think, I'm trying to work out which way it goes. Just bear with me a second. It's because I can't see because this light is shocking today. So where is that? So we've got that. Hang on. There we are, I found it. That is there, the V bit is there, that's there. That will go inside here. Yeah, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. And then I'm gonna line that up like so. That's the only downside of when you decide to like put it in a random place. Just make sure you know which side it goes in your embossing folder. So straight in there, and I can see that's lined up perfectly. Thick side up, absolutely right. Now let me bring my machine up. And I'll pop this on my desk. I don't normally do this, do I? I've normally got my electric big shot out. Now where's all my plates? I'm trying to do so much in such a small area. 
and then we'll bring that in I don't need the adapter piece I only need my base plate and my um, adapter plate and that's going to go straight through there and when you do an embossing folder don't go just take it easy um, Sonia, yes they are. Just message Danny and he will be able to send them out. And if you've got an order or anything coming, let him know and he can pop them in for your order. Okay, there you go. And we'll lift that out. And I'm hoping, hoping that you'll be able to see it. Let's bring that through. My cameras aren't like TV cameras, but... I think you might be able to see if I bring that in like that. Look at that detail. Oh yeah. Oh yes, you can see that absolutely perfectly, can't you? So that is your background. Yeah, um, mine, when I look at it, I'll put it on social media probably tomorrow now, um, or I might even take it with me to Sandown, but you'll see that it is bright, bright pink and bright green and bright, bright blue. Whereas on here, it looks a little bit gloomy. Maybe we're having some um, social media um, problems. Who knows? So now we can pop that straight on here. Straight away, you've created a gorgeous background, haven't you? It's it's so gorgeous. So um, I'm trying to keep an eye on the time because I've got 10 minutes. I might see if I can get the, the Lily of the Valley done as well. Let's have a... I just don't want to um, encroach on Dawn's airtime. That's the main thing because she's on at eight. Oh, my glue. Here we go. Just around the edges like so. Next Friday, I'm on live, but I might be a little bit um, brief as well. Only that I'm flying out to Frankfurt early Saturday morning for the trade show so um, it's going to be like a hectic morning my flight is relatively early so I will pop on on Friday but it might not be demo night if, if that's okay so we're going to literally pop that down like so and for me I mean look at that I oh, just just I just love it. I don't know if I'm going to get time to do the other one. I might, I will try and do it. Let's just see. Let's just glue this down and we'll come in and I might have to kind of zip through it rather than being super, super, um, super slow and talking through it. But if I can get my backside in gear and get the, the other bit done, I'm sure. I mean, I don't often make cards, do I? The black really does make a difference. Thank you, Donna. That's really sweet. My cards are very plain and almost very, very simple. But I really do like the, the, the clean and simple style. That is my style. That has always been my style. And I can't seem to deviate from that. I don't think I want to, though. I don't think I want to because I, I, I like the clean look. So that's your base. Okay. I do like the colours looks cool doesn't it looks cool oh my goodness Jill don't tell me that I'm praying it's okay for the weekend oh my goodness mind you it won't just be me it'll be all the people that are going with me I'm hoping um you're very welcome, Sarah. I have, this is what I prefer to do. I love doing the education, really. I just don't really get the chance to do it so much. I mean, as you've possibly seen, I'm trying to get some some more videos up for you all. Now, this is probably not going to um, be as exciting for you to watch because I'm going to try and speed through it, but I would like to get it finished for you. And then you can go back and see what Dawn does because Dawn's a very different style of craft to me. Uh, this is the Lily of the Valley stencils, and we'll just open these as well. I'm kind of trying to fit a show in, aren't I, in between shows. Stencil number one, uh, where did I put those colours? We'll stick to the colours, and I'm going to come in with the pink, and we will be using the same brush. 
Now, Lily of the Valley aren't really like the vibrant colors, but we've got vibrant colors, so we're gonna use vibrant colors. And I'm gonna do the bow down here. And you'll see actually, when you're at home, how quickly this can come together. So stencil number one, can't really see much, but you will actually, to be fair, I'm just gonna go in that top. See, the beauty of this is you can bring it back if you want to. That one is just a little bit pale for me. I don't want it to fit, fit too far in the background, but that's fine. I'm happier now. Yeah, I can see that a little bit better now. Stencil number two is green. So what we need to do, because I don't have a green here, the best way of achieving a green is to mix the blue and the yellow together. I tend to start with the lighter color. Well, I do have a green, but it's like um, a limey green, isn't it? So what I do is I will add the like, kind of limey green. You see, that's really light, you see, because I didn't dab very much into my ink. So as I say, press into your ink, and then you might have to take some of the ink off, like I've just had to do there. So press a little bit harder. And I'm gonna come into the bow. No, I'm not I'm gonna come into the bow with the blue, I think. So leave that as it is. And then we will come in with the blue. And I love that Valerie, yes, on the black card. Lisa is her own gate. <laughs> oh, I wish, wouldn't that be, wouldn't that be amazing? I bet these, all these rich and famous stars have their own gates, don't they? Um, just run that through like so. Just keep that ink, what we've got there. Now you'll take your time a lot more than me. And then we'll lift that one up. Uh, where have I put that one? There we are, number three. And then we'll go the, the yeah, greeny, yeah. Yeah, just thinking out loud for a minute there. We will go with the green. And we will do this quite quickly. See, I'm gonna literally knock this up in a couple of minutes. And that's just really light with that green. And then we'll bring that blue in. I'm missing going crafting, going to crafting live. Oh, that's such a shame. I think it's gonna be busy tomorrow. I don't know how busy it was today. Was it busy, Sarah? There we are, look at that, looking good already. And then we've got one more leaf over here. And let's go, oh, nearly wrong one then. Let's go in here and then we're gonna go heavier with the green on this layer and over here. And then we'll grab that blue again, just take some ink out of there and we'll add that blue. So it's gonna be darker this time, look, you ain't see. So you've got different tones of green now, look at that. And then we'll come in with number four and we will go back with that blue, but we're gonna keep it really light, just with the ink that's left on the brush, really, really light. There we are, happy with that already. Look at that, that's so pretty. And then we'll come in with the next layer and maybe a little bit darker, not a lot, a little bit darker, just so we get some tone between those colors. Let's see where this takes us. Same ink pad. All oh, that on the right hand side is not quite dark enough for me. So we're just gonna add a little bit more over that side, lift that off, way better. And then the last one, it, isn't it pretty? It's so delicate and so pretty. And then we'll stick with, um, let's just, just the green for a second. And then we'll come back in with the blue as well. Okay, let's just mix it up a little bit. Just so I've kind of got a ground in there for the green. Bring in that blue. And then we'll pop that. I don't want it heavy over the top. I'm not so good with having too many lines on mine. Pop the lids on here. 56, got four minutes, four minutes. Get your TVs ready. And then lift that off. There we go, that's that. Take this out. And I didn't even take the um, cover off the tacky mat, did I? No, I didn't. We just sat it on the top there. 
let's get the die and we'll bring the die in the embossing folder. Now I'm going to do the die twice. Da, 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 da. Uh, when are the sticky mats available, Lisa? They are available on the 6th of February. Oh, you know what? Yes, I have. I didn't think I had any um, low tech mask in them, but I've got some attached to the side of my desk. Pop that there. And we're going to lay that down like so. I'm not going to be spot on because I'm rushing a little bit, but you will get the, you will get the idea. And then, oh, dearie me. Right, you're going to have to bear with me one second. I've just got to disappear one second. I haven't got my cutting plate. One sec. Put them the other side of the room. So apologies for that. I've got them now. So let me bring my plate in. And I don't think I need the adapter, but we'll soon find out. And then talk about cutting it fine, Lisa. Oh no, I haven't got the right shim in here. Ah, <clears throat> have I got the shim with me? I thought I had the shim. Oh, do you know what? I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it. Don't say after all that. I don't think this shim's thick enough. I don't think it is. Let's give it another go. Let's try. No. Ah, let's see what else I can do. I don't think the adapter will work. Let's try the adapter and see if that works. Oh, very frustrating. Oh, it might work. Yeah, let's do that. Where there's a will, where there's a will. And then we'll take that off. I'm not going to be able to stick it all down because I've run out of time. There's one lily of the valley. And then we're going to do the other one. I've got two minutes, two minutes. And let's grab my car piece of cardstock. And now what I want to do is, I've cut into that, which I didn't mean to do. We've got another one in black. Run that through. And then we'll run our embossing through. Let's pop that there. And then we'll do our embossing. So we keep that plate, get rid of the others. And then, very annoyed with myself about that, cutting into my plate. But that's what happens when you rush in. Never mind. And then let's bring in our last embossing folder. Then I will do the winners in a minute. If I don't get a chance to do the winners, I will post them on Facebook. However, I will try and do them. And then we'll pop that on the other side. And we'll line that up beautifully. You will line yours up better than me because I am rushing. There we go. Pop that in there. Take that one out run that through. Just a little idea for, for how I would make, make a card with this, okay? That's what this is for. And then we'll move all of this out of the way. And hopefully bring that in and we'll reveal this. Here we go. So if I bring that up, see all the detail and then all I would do I'm not gluing it down because dawn's on I would pop that in the middle like so move that out of the way and then pop that just offset it there we are so you can do that Obviously, you can change your colours up. You can have them a little bit more muted in the background. Um, pop a sentiment on there, whatever you need to do. Now, let me bring you back. That was super speedy crafting for me, wasn't it? Okay. So, the winners for liking and sharing 
is the winner is Marie Merrill. So congratulations, Marie, for win for liking and sharing. And for commenting on YouTube, it is Rose Griffin. So congratulations, Rose. Now, if you want to be in with a chance of winning next week, would you hop over to YouTube for me? And I've just done a video, or I did a video last week about our interference ink pads. So if you haven't seen it, hop along, go and watch the video. I think it's about 15, 20 minute video. Have a look at that. It's, yeah, I think it's called, um, oh, I can't remember the name of the video, but let me have a very quick look for you on YouTube so I can give you the name as well. And if you'd like and comment on that video, what that will then mean is, um, you will be in with a chance of winning next week. So it's called Understanding Interference Ink Pads. Go and have a look at it. Tell me what you think, make a comment, and then next week you might be the one that wins for commenting on that video too. So it's been a busy old night tonight. Go and watch Dawn. I'll be at Sandown tomorrow. Um, and then I will be back with you briefly next Friday, and then we can talk about all things Lisa Horton Craft's birthday. Um, so thank you. Nikki Naki News coming to stand and tomorrow. Woohoo! Danny will be there as well. So thank you, everybody. Go watch Dawn. Don't talk to me anymore. Go watch Dawn. Thank you for tuning in, and I will see you next week. Have a fabulous weekend, and hopefully see you at Sandown. Take care, everyone. Bye. Bye.